This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to the Crew Motorfest. For those who don't know, the Crew Motorfest is the third game in the Crew's kind of lineup. We've got the original crew game, which is the one that I actually played, which had a very unnecessarily dark and gritty story about a guy who had his brother killed and went to prison over it. And okay. And then the crew too took like a complete 180 where it became like this lighthearted story that was basically Forza Horizon, but not really, but Forza Horizon, but with airplanes. And that one I kind of skipped out on and was a little bit weird. But now we've got the Crew Motor Fest, which I think is a little bit more focused on cars. Yes, I think there are motorbikes in this game too, but it's less focused on like all sorts of really random motor sports or random types of sports that barely are related to cars. So I think it's a little bit more return to form, I suppose. But today we are now trying out the 911 Legacy, the Porsche 911 Legacy, should I say here. So one of the other things about this game too is it does have wheel support. I did spend the better part of probably an hour trying to get the wheel set up and then I had this weirdest glitch where the gas wouldn't work and then I would change the setting and then the brake wouldn't work. So. Not sure what that's all about. I'm hoping that it's just either a bug that will get uh, patched pretty quickly because this is like day one official release that we're playing on. Or if it is something on my end that I figure it out eventually in time for uh, Forza Motorsport because I am not going to be playing that game without a wheel. I'll tell you that much. Hopefully that's not uh, foreshadowing for um, what may actually happen. So this is the third event in the Porsche 911 Legacy event. We are playing as, I want to say this is the Porsche 911 964. This, I want to say, was the late 70s, early 80s model. One of the more iconic, if not the most iconic form of 911. And our goal is to not crash and go straight into third place is the goal. So the thing that I found really awesome, as you saw just moments ago, is how fluid and how smooth the rewind function is in the Crew Motor Fest. With uh, other games like Forza Horizon 5, uh, it like takes you completely out of it in like a completely different menu. And then it's like, oh, do you want to stop here? How about here? And this game's like, hmm, I made a mistake. Mm, okay, good. We're done. We're done. And it's just super snappy, super quick. And it's just awesome. I, I honestly love it. And one of the other things too that I love about this game is its handling model. As many arcade games have, you can just like get into them. You can start drifting around. You can start playing and you can start like uh, beating the AI immediately. And you can do it all basically with one hand almost. It's it's. It does not take much brain power, much focus. What I'm finding out with this game here is something completely different where, for example, when you're driving around and you're getting really close to the AI and you're having to deal with a little bit of oversteer and you're dealing with all these assists turned off. There were a couple of moments that I found a couple of races ago where I was just like silent, where I needed every little bit of focus that I could get to keep this car on that track. And yet I'm fighting for sixth. I'm not even like... This is how interesting the racing is, even back here, which I find really fun. Oh god, maybe too low of a gear there. No! And here's that rewind inflection. We'll go right about there. I'll try not to repeat our mistakes. There we go. Oh, I have some snap of oversteer in the other direction there. Yeah, this game is wonderful. <laughs> I was not expecting to spend 
this much time in it, if I'm going to be honest. I was expecting to make a video or two on it and call it a day, but with how well, I mean, well, how well this game handles, how beautiful this game is with this atmosphere that they absolutely pulled off, I just, I think I can make more and more content on this, at least following maybe the seasonal updates, kind of like uh, Need for Speed Unbound. And that was one of the other things, too, that uh, I found while in Free Roam. They actually had some reggae music playing, and it really just, you felt like you were in Hawaii. And that was the th interesting point that I was thinking back to Forza Horizon 5, where, you know, everything is tan and everything's just got, like, generic EDM or rock music. Like, there's nothing that screams that you're in Mexico about it, honestly. And in this game, with just the colors that were used, and the music, and the soundtrack, and the sound design, and everything about it, you just feel like you're on a vacation, that you're in Hawaii, that you're in uh, some little island paradise. So, kudos to Ivory Tower. Like, I am loving this game. Even though I'm not reaching my targets, but still. <laughs> One of the awesome really th cool things that I love about this game too. So let's go to the map. And there we are. This is the map. And yes, you've got kind of like this top down view, but you can like rotate the camera around. You can tilt it and you can pan it. And then let's just kind of go down in here. So I saw leaks of this, and I saw people talking about this, where I can just kind of zoom into any point of the map and just see cars driving around and just everything going on in the landscape. And they can come all the way back down here. And go, mm, let's see what's going on here. And zoom all the way on in here. And you could kind of see a race progressing. Let's see if we can follow it a little bit more closely. They're now down here. There's a motorbike. Must be a motorbike race of some sort. And then, yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm done watching that. So let's go back to here. I just, I am in awe. <laughs> it's so cool. And one other nice thing too is, let's go off road a little bit here. I do know that in Forza Horizon, like if you are in a supercar, like it is a little bit of a problem going off road, but like you still can kind of do it. This game is like, nah, man. Like it's really, difficult to go off-road. <laughs> See if we can actually climb this mountain. I think we go at a little bit of an angle. We'll make it over. Yeah, I don't think this is happening. And now that we've experienced a little bit of off-roading, let's do it in a more official race fashion. We are again in the second event of the Porsche 911 Legacy Playlist. I kind of did things out of order here, but I wanted to kind of show off once again a more official rally event. And uh, this event here, we're up against pickup trucks and motorcycles, which is rather interesting. I always found it very weird how in Forza Horizon 5, where one of the intro movies you're racing up against motorcycles. So the assets of the motorbikes and the physics of the motorbikes are in the game already. But the fact that we can't drive them is a little bit weird in my mind. But in this game, it's very evident that you can. So I, in, I absolutely enjoy that. Just from the standpoint that throughout my life, I've never really owned, and I've never really known, no, wow, Jesus Christ. I've never really known anybody who's owned a motorbike or I've never been on one. I've never ridden one or like I've never played racing games that really have had them in them. So finally having a game that I can 
play around with motorbikes a little bit is making me really excited because again they are so foreign to me because i'm so used to cars with at minimum three wheels and lots of body panels around you <laughs> so being able to play motorbikes in this game is is going to be really fun in my mind so yeah that's been my quick little preview of the crew motor fest oh my goodness what this was this just kind of an unexpected gem that i was not really watching closely or i know that the crew you know ivory towers team has been putting out some great stuff but i never knew that it was of this level of quality what they've been up to so i am like just completely in awe of just everything that they've put into this game so ivory tower props to you i think this is a game that i might buy in full Maybe when it comes on sale, though, or something. But yeah, this is just... This is spectacular. I have a lot of fun with this. So if you enjoy this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I actually probably will have some more videos on this game coming on up. Because, again, I'm just having such a good time with this. I definitely want to share some more opinions on, you know, getting into this game more. Dealing with more events and, you know, different types of vehicles. And, you know, exploring the rest of the map. So again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.